usually almost any kind of dispute will end up being unsettling to the business itself. But there's right and there's wrong. Hi, I'm Brent Cooper, partner at McLeod Law and a member of the litigation group. I'm also a business lawyer. Our topic today is top 10 surprising things about a business litigator. Number 10, it's kind of a crock to call them a litigator. Number nine, trials are unsettling. Number eight, M&A is in their DNA. Number seven, they sometimes gotta play battleships. Number six, mediation takes meditation. Number five, corporate plane crashes are just plain scary. Number four, we too believe in the New Deal. Number three, they can spin in a win-win. Number two, corporate paper ain't origami. And the number one thing about good business litigators, like Spike, they do the right thing. Well, in my experience, a good business litigator relies on a variety of different skills and experience and often those skills have to involve the types of skills you would expect from corporate lawyers or what we call transactional lawyers. Uh, a good business litigator isn't just all about trials and disputes. They should know how deals are made. Now, the reason I, I said trials are unsettling is because I wanted to imply of course the fact that a trial is the opposite of a settlement. But I also wanted to point out that trials are unsettling to much more than the litigator or to the lawyer. They're very, very unsettling to the people that are going to trial and really unsettling to the business. Business litigators come to understand that most cases, the vast majority of cases, will and should end up in some kind of a settlement. The other thing that's important about being a business litigator is you need to understand that you have to negotiate from strength. You have to be fair. Your demeanor about how you negotiate is important, but you always negotiate from strength. You know, mediation, some people think you should race right into mediation, right into settlement discussion. That is not always the case. There's a timing aspect to when you should go to mediation. Conversely, however, if you think about it, if you resolve, if you reflect, you'll come to understand that most of the time some form of mediation in a business dispute is the best chance to get a good result for everyone and certainly a good result for yourself. I do think about plane crashes in business disputes all the time. You know, litigators are usually called in after something has entirely gone wrong if you'll allow me the metaphor, after the plane has already crashed. So you actually have an opportunity to call in the business litigator before the plane crashes. And lots of times they can resolve all kinds of things, get the plane back up in the air. I talk about the New Deal all the time in business disputes because I find most cases, in fact, even if it's gone to a trial or a hearing, most business disputes end up in a new arrangement, a new contract, a new corporate arrangement, a new set of shareholders, a new owner. I call that the New Deal. Business disputes can end up in a win-win for everyone. Very often, circumstances have changed so that the constating documents or the paper behind the corporation is no longer applicable to the corporation's reality or the people behind it. I use a term, a phrase called positive angst. Sometimes you get into a bit of a dispute, it gets resolved in a win-win for everyone. Everyone is better off afterwards. One of the biggest things I find in corporate disputes is very often the corporation is not properly built on its paper. We call that the constating documents, like the unanimous shareholders agreement. And I know a lot of people think that it's wise, it makes business sense to avoid the legal expense of properly papering up your deal, they are wrong. Corporate paper is not about cosmetics, it's about business fundamentals. Yeah, like Spike, they do the right thing, and I'm referring obviously to the famous Spike Lee movie, Do the Right Thing, but 
You know, it's important to me that people understand that my experience across the board for my career is that business litigators, all lawyers, frankly, in my experience, want to do the right thing. They actually take their ethics seriously. They're not in it for themselves. And they want to avoid unnecessary vexatious litigation if they can. Really, for businesses, the wisest thing you could do is get your paper checked out and in proper order. Thanks for watching.